Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make pause. Um, the first thing is, at Firehouse we're going to use two colors. We use the red and the blue, red for girls, blue for boys. We want to make sure our paw is more pastel than it is real dark. So what we do is we use a little bit of like the red or the blue clay, and then pretty much for like a size, a paw the size for Gracie would be the whole bag, um, but like a little bit of paw for a cat would be probably like half the bag or even a fourth. Of the white. Of the white. So you, after you get the clay, the, one of the biggest things is to make sure that the clay stays wet and it doesn't dry up. So you just want to um, close up the bag properly. So to do that, you just fold it up like so. And then you put a paper clip on it. And then you put it back in the plastic bag. And then these should all be located within the bin that's in the back that is all for the paws. So, after you have kind of blended it all together, you want to make sure it's really blended um, and it's not marbled because it, again, takes away from the paw just like the darker colors would. So, you want to roll it on a ball. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and then, you just use a flat surface and a clipboard. So, you, I'm just going to use the ground. You can use a table. You can use the back of the clipboard and to flatten it. So, you just do that. Like so, and it comes out like this, nice and round. So then you half it up, which is usually not a way to cook. Grace is sick. And you just take their paw and you just press it on to the clay paw. And you just want to make sure when the paw is on the clay paw that you press it down real hard um, and you kind of evenly do it throughout. You just want to make sure that. You know, the indents are, are nice and you can see the paw and that the nails aren't like scratching through it or isn't like a double paw. Because um, the owner is going to be going home with this or they'll eventually be sent this and you just want to make sure it looks really nice. So, after the paw is done, I'm just going to use this as an, as an example. Um, after you, you know, make sure that the paw is pressed down properly, you can usually have to do this more than a couple times. Um, then you put two holes in it, so you just put two holes at the top. You just want to make sure that they're about that big. You don't want them that big. You don't want them too big, because um, all that have to go through is this ribbon. And then at the bottom, um, sometimes if you have room, then you can write their name. So Gracie, I always start with like the letter that's in the middle. So for Gracie, it would be an A. Um, so you just use the paper clip again. And you just kind of press it in. And I'm just going to do one letter just to kind of show you. So it does take a little time. And you just kind of even it out. I don't know if you can see it very well. So you just even it out. Like so. And then you can do like the G, the R, and the C, and the Y. Um, so it looks all nice. And then after, you want to put it on parchment paper. So I have this. And on the parchment paper to dry, you put on the parchment paper to dry. You want to also put her name and the date um, that you made it. And a good little tip is usually after about a couple hours of it drying, the top will be a little dry and you want to flip it um, so the bottom can start drying also. And that'll help it dry a lot quicker. So usually by the next day when you come in, it'll be dry. And then after it's dry, you spray it with um, this matte clear spray. It's a sealer. You just spray the front, and it takes, after you spray that, I usually just, you know, set it back on top of the parchment paper, and um, on top of like a, you can either use, you know, a cap like this, and set it on top, because sometimes it'll leak on the bottom, um, so you just want to make sure that it doesn't get stuck to it, or you can use like a vial cap um, to dry. And then, after it's dry, it only takes 30 minutes, you put in a bow, and the bows are located up front near the receptionist desk. And after that is done, you just bring it to the receptionist. You, you just also want to keep this with them so they know whose it is, if there isn't a name on it. And um, then they'll take care of it from there. 